Hey, what's up? Andrew Kramer here, videocopilot.net, and welcome to another amazing Spider-Man tutorial. And what we're going to be doing is creating this uh, organic mesh. Uh, I don't know what it is. Uh, I don't know what I was doing, but uh, looks pretty cool. And uh, we'll go and tackle this in 3D Max right now. Wait, right now. First, we'll uh, create a sphere. So we'll come over to the Create Palette, and we'll draw it in there. And we'll go to the Modify, and we're going to turn the segments down to maybe 8, uh, maybe 12. Turn on Edged Faces, and just somewhere where there's not too many. And then we'll right-click Convert to Editable Poly. And uh, I'm move this over, give us uh, some room here. And we'll take the face selection, and we just want to click on a bunch of random faces. So hold down Control and uh, just pick a bunch of different faces. You can use uh, some of these orbit tools to fly around your scene if you don't know the shortcuts. But uh, I'm just holding down Alt and Middle dragging to orbit. So we're just going to grab uh, some random faces uh, like that. And and we'll click on the bevel and we'll click apply and apply and apply just want to create some faces and hit OK and uh, then we'll turn on the turbo smooth so we'll select the mesh, we'll come over here to the modify and at the bottom you'll see turbo smooth so we turn that on and now it's a somewhat a smooth mesh but we're not finished we're gonna go edit poly again and click on the faces and again randomly click um, a bunch of different faces so you know just uh, have fun you know the more the better uh, the more the merrier as they say and try not to pick faces that are next to each other okay so you get the idea and again we're gonna go into the bevel and uh, we'll just turn it up And we'll bring it in a bit, and maybe one more for good measure. Or actually, just uh, click Apply, and then OK. So now we just have uh, pieces going everywhere. And again, we'll add another Turbo Smooth on top of all this. So Turbo Smooth at the bottom there. And so now we have that thing you see on all the vacuum commercials and all the disinfectant commercials that tell you that they get rid of 99.9% .9 of these. Well, this is the leftover one that uh, we're going to use. Again, we're going to add a noise modifier on top. So click on noise and uh, we'll turn the scale down to 20. And uh, we'll come here and maybe set it to 10 by 10 by 10. And that kind of gives it kind of a wild uh, a wild look and we can turn the scale up and you can actually turn on the animate button and so now you have some sort of uh, monstrous sea creature that is you know coming to kill you it's doing a little dance and then it's coming to kill you so um, the cool part about this tutorial is going to be the procedural texturing we're going to add so I'm going to hit M and uh, the texturing we're going to use is, uh, we'll just use one of these base materials. I'm going to drop that out here. And uh, we'll turn up the glossiness a bit. And for the diffuse, we'll click on that. We're going to add a mix map. And uh, we'll choose OK. And for the mix operator, we're going to use a noise. So. To kind of explain this, uh, a mix map is just an operator that allows you to mix two separate maps together. So in this case, we're mixing together black and white. And the way it's being blended is with a noise map. So if you look at a noise map by itself, it looks like that. And that little button lets you see the map you're at. And so this noise, if I scale it down, maybe to 10. 25 or so that map is what's blending these two colors together so easy enough we're gonna go into the noise and we want to add a few little things to it okay what I want to do is sharpen up our noise so first we'll go ahead and set it back to about 60 and 
turn it to fractal, which gives it a little bit more noise detail. And we're going to go ahead and bring the high amount to about 0.5 and the low amount to about 0.4. And that way it's just a little bit more contrasted. So you can kind of see what that does. Maybe turn that up to 5 so that there's a little more detail. So go and pull out. All right, we'll click on the first map. We'll add a cellular. And that kind of looks like that. We'll set it to fractal and turn the size up to about 40. And I might go into the color here and just brighten it up. So it's just a little bit more contrast. And we'll close that and we'll move up. Okay, we'll go and add the second map. So we'll click on it. We're going to add a noise and choose OK. And we're going to set it to fractal and we're going to make it very small, like one. And then we'll go out. And so basically, that's uh, what we have at this point. So we'll go and close that and we'll move up. And so now we have this sort of funky map. And what I'm going to do then is take it and drop it into the bump channel. And we'll make it a copy and we'll set it to about 50. So if I click on here and show that, okay, so if I render this out quick, you can see we have uh, a very weird looking texture. And that's fine, uh, we're probably gonna add uh, the color at this point. So we'll uh, go into the diffuse channel and actually what I'm gonna do is start this diffuse channel over. So we're gonna use that for just the bump map. And we're going to come in here and we're going to copy the noise. So we'll copy the noise only. And we're going to go ahead and add a fall off. So we'll click on the diffuse, we'll choose fall off. And the fall off is a very cool map that really gives you lots of possibilities. And if I go in here, maybe I'll change the color here to, you know, like a reddish color. And maybe make this black. I'll go ahead and render this out you know, it can be used to create some very, very interesting, uh, you know, results. Sometimes it can look, uh, let's see, you know, it can look sub uh, cellular and, you know, kind of have a micron uh, look to it. In this case, we're going to go ahead and make this somewhat a red color. And for this slot, we're going to right click and paste a copy of our noise texture that we just created. And we'll go into that and uh, we'll go ahead and swap it so the black is here and we'll make this color sort of a brownish color. And uh, then we'll go ahead and close that. So blur this out a little bit, maybe 20 or so. And so now if we render our image, you can see we're sort of mixing that together and it kind of creates the look of multiple surfaces and multiple you know areas and textures so it's pretty cool I might darken this and you know desaturate this one a little bit so depending on you know what you want it to look like uh, those are the ones you want to play with and we'll go back up come up here we'll set the specular color to like a goldish orange color And so we kind of uh, zoom in here. And you can see we've got a pretty cool little uh, object. And once you create that material, uh, it looks kind of weird, but uh, we can name it, you know, skin, close that. And then we can maybe duplicate a few of these little weird things. Um, so we'll go hold down shift and just drag another copy over here. Maybe rotate it and, you know, fill the screen with these little monsters and, you know, render it out. Um, one thing I also did was just add some 3D text and one cool thing about uh, the material I used there, just quickly adding uh, some 3D text, there is a tutorial on creating some nice 3D text on the site too, so check that out. We'll just uh, do it pretty quick here. And the material I used, uh, hit M by the way to bring up the materials, is I just used a regular material with a slight self-illumination.
and uh, you know that way it kind of looks pretty cool and blends uh, a little bit better. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Uh, be sure to check out videocopilot.net. We've got uh, some other tutorials. We have the blog, the forum, and of course our great products. Uh, so be sure to check those out. Uh, until then, I will see you next time.